Hey everyone, Sergius Commodus here, and we're going to be going over how to convert all the files in Sins of the Solar Empire or any mod that you have. So I'm going to be using Sins of the Prophets today to readable text files because right now they're entity files, and this will give us the ability to change all the unit stats to be able to spawn more Titans, capital ships, and just overall fleet capacity and make the game more custom to your, your liking. So first thing we need to do is go find your steam library mine's on local disk d to go to steam library steam apps common sins of a solar empire and go find this application convert data rebellion this is actually given by sins of a solar empire rebellion for you to convert the files to readable text files so copy this and you're going to paste it on your desktop i have it right here and then create a new text document all you need to do for that is just new text document. So once you have that, you can just copy this in the description or go on the wiki page. So copy this, paste it in here. After that, save it as a bat file. So name it whatever you want. I have this as sins of a text and all you need to do to create it as a bat file is dot bat. So once you do that, this will appear on your desktop so just sins of a text that's what I named it and it is a bat file so all you need to do is you're gonna take these two you're gonna copy them and wherever you want to convert the files so if you want to just do regular sins of a solar empire rebellion that will be in game info but for this sake we're going to be using sins of the prophet we're gonna to go to game info and you're gonna paste it in here. So you're gonna have sins of a text, that's the bat file that I have, paste it in here. And for the application, the convert data rebellion, paste that in here too, you'll see that in this game info folder. Once you do that, all you're gonna to need to do is double click here and you're gonna see it start converting all these entity files to the actual readable text files in the game. All right, so after you do that, you're gonna go and whatever you wanna edit, you're gonna search it up here. So let's do UNSC, cause that's my favorite faction. And what you're looking for are two things. For this sake, we're just gonna edit the files of for fleet capacity for capital ships. And also we're gonna show you how to build numerous Titans, as many as you want. So all you need to do is find this research subject UNSC max capital ship zero. You're gonna edit this. I'm gonna edit it with edit this with Notepad plus plus. And what you're looking for are these these lines: base value, per level value, and same thing down here. So change this to however much you want. So I would say 9,000. It's just gonna give you. It is just a high number. Next, what you want to do is you're going to find Planet Titan Factory. So this will be the same pretty much across all mods. So Planet Titan Factory. I think I just passed it. There it is. So Planet Titan Factory. So you're going to edit that. Basically, all these lines are just telling what the Planet Module UNSC Titan Factory does and all of its stats. So you're going to make this slot count zero. This is very important because this is going to be able for you, like, for you to spawn as many as you want. And I think each system is different. I think you only could spawn 150 per each like colony that you have, but you can pretty much spawn infinite amount. So change it to something affordable. Base credits like five, metals one, crystal one. After that, file, save all. You can do this for any of these UNSC files that you have. So the, the frigates, the sabers. So I already have all these open because I was editing each one, but this has everything from the max shield points to max hull points to, you could edit each individual weapon so like the gauss is the mac cannon i have it set at 9000 so it, it's it's pretty realistic for how a mac cannon should be so after that you're going to save it you're going to run the game i already have it 
open. Okay, now that we loaded in, we're going to use this colony. I just created 25 Titan Foundries and then 25 Infinity Class Super Carriers. So you have to match each one so that each one loads in. And then once you click the third research, it will create all of them at the same time. So the game will only think that you have one, but you actually have as many as you built. And this will work across the whole entire game. So just say, I have 25 built on this planet. And then on this planet, I did the same thing. I did 150. Then I'm going to have 175 when I, after I click this last button. So we're just going to wait for this to be built. So I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so now that these are all finally built, I'm going to do the last research. This should be fairly quick. And you'll see the bottom one right here start to move. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you at my next video.